Hey guys, what's going on? It's Graham here from HITC Top Corner and today we're going to be comparing the current Real Madrid side to their team from 10 years ago. And we're going to be using FIFA to help us. Yep, yeah, we're going to see how their FIFA 08 squad matches up against their current FIFA 18 team. So just like we did in the Man City video, the highest potential slash rating takes a win. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. In goal, Kilo Navas versus Iker Casillas. This one is as easy in real life as it is in FIFA. Navas may be an 85 rated goalkeeper, but that is his potential. As for Casillas on the other hand, he started off as an 88 on FIFA 08 and ended up as a 92. He also had 93 reflexes and 91 diving, which is pretty insane. In fact, he was one of the best keepers on FIFA 08 and it's obvious to see why. So we're gonna go with Casillas in goal for our team. On to right back Danny Carvajal versus Sergio Ramos. Another really easy one, and yes, it's obviously Ramos from FIFA 08 because he was an out and out right back on that game. Anyway, Carvajal is a really decent right back on the game and in real life, but he would never touch Ramos both now and then back in 2007. He can, however, get up to an 87. However, Ramos started off as an 86, but got up to a 92. Oh, and he also had 91 tackling, which is just crazy. Another win for the FIFA 08 team. On to centre back Rafael Varane versus Pepe. Varane is pretty ridiculous on FIFA 18 and has all the potential in the world in real life. And he's oddly quite cheap considering how good he is and he would fit into any tiebreak team so he's always a great option. He's only 24 and can already get up to a 92 on career mode so he's a definite must buy that is if you can afford him. Anyway, as for Pepe on FIFA 08, he starts off as an 83 and can get up to an 86 and he does have 87 marking and 87 tackling, but this one is going to go to the FIFA 18 Real Madrid squad. A second centre back, Jesus Vallejo versus Fabio Cannavaro. Well, I don't think this will take long. In fact, let's whiz through this. Vallejo is a 77, but can get up to an 85, which again is pretty decent and is quite a good signing on career mode if you need a cheap centre back or an ultimate team. As for Cannavaro, he was legitimately one of the best defenders in the world at the time of FIFA 08 and in fact is one of the best defenders of the modern era. The World Cup winning captain started off as an 85 but could also get up to a 92 with 90 marking and 87 heading. Another win for FIFA 08. Moving over to left back, Marcelo versus Royston Drenthe. Now, okay, I know Drenthe isn't really a left back and Heinze was actually the main left back on FIFA 08, but I thought this would be a more interesting contest and it's worth having a chat about Drenthe. But first off, Marcelo was actually on FIFA 08 at Real Madrid, but he could only get up to an 80. But on FIFA 18, the Brazilian is absolutely brilliant and a lot of fun to use, especially if you push him into midfield and take that slight chemistry hit. He starts off as an 87 and that's where he stays, but 4 star skills, 90 crossing, 88 ball control and 88 dribbling is just great. As for Drenthe, it is still really, really weird that he played for Real Madrid. He just sort of appeared there. At least for us that didn't pay much attention to Dutch football, hey, but you burnt us with Afonso Alves, so why should we trust you ever again? Anyway, Drenthe was actually quite decent on FIFA as a silver back in the day, and on FIFA 08, he was actually all right and could get up to an 86. So if he'd been at 87, he'd have actually beaten Marcelo because he had a higher potential increase. Still, at least he's got his career as a Dutch rapper. That's always something to fall back on. On to midfield now. Now, if we want to fit everybody in, we're going to have to go with just two centre mids, but it's going to be interesting. So kicking things off is Luka Modric versus Julio Baptista. Right, this is an easy one. Modric is by far, if not, this is a personal preference, one of the best centre mids in the game. He really is crazily good, but for some reason, he isn't the same rating as Tony Cruz, and I think that's a little bit harsh. Anyway, he's an 89, and that's where he stays on FIFA 18. That 94 balance is perfect for dancing through tight spaces and getting away that perfect pass to your really pacey forward. As for Baptista, do you remember him? That absolute tank that once played for Arsenal, albeit very briefly. Well, on FIFA 08, there was actually still a bit of hype surrounding him, and yes, he was considered as a cam on the game, so there, before you start crying in the comments. Now he starts off as an 80, but incredibly can get up to a 90 rated player. And this mainly is down to his physical and shooting stats, which are insane on this game. He has 92 strength, 91 shot power, which means he really is a bit of a beast in front of goal. And I remember being able to score some absolute worldies with him back in the day. So incredibly, Julio Bautista 
is better than Luka Modric. Take of what, what you will. The second and final midfielder, Tony Cruz versus Wesley Snyder. You'd think this one would be actually really tight again, but one just completely swoops this. Like Modric, Cruz is one of the best midfielders in the world and on FIFA 18. A master of passing, dribbling, and smashing in some really great long shots, how can you not love Cruz? Especially when he scores, you can use the old Cruz control joke, which is never gets old. He's a 90 on FIFA, which is probably all right. He maybe should be a 91 or 92, but then again, so should Luka Modric. So who knows what goes on in the mind of EA. As for Wesley Snyder, he was criminally underrated on FIFA 08, if we're being honest. Saying that though, he does have some really nice creative stats and a whopping 93 kick accuracy, which means you can tour some really nice set pieces, even from a weird corner glitch if I remember rightly. Now on to the four, yes, four attackers. Starting off with Isco versus Robin. Yeah, I've got Isco on the right, and you've guessed it, Bailey's gonna be on the left. Got a problem? Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. Anyway, so Isco is probably one of my favorite players at the moment, mainly due to his hair, which is absolutely glorious. And he's actually great on FIFA, who'd have thought it? He starts off as an 86, who can jump up to a 90, and I prefer him to Asensio, Asensio, whatever you wanna call him. I don't like him that much. I'm, I'm an Isco fanboy, all right? On to Robin, who is also criminally underrated on FIFA 08. Like seriously, how is he an only an 85 who can get up to an 86? You know what, I'm so annoyed about this, I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. Instead, I'm gonna talk about Gareth Bale versus Rubinho. You're all gonna get mad at this one. So Bale hasn't had the best of times of late in Madrid, but he's still an 89 and it's a lot of fun to use on FIFA 18. Well, I'm not sure about Ultimate Team because I'm a pauper and I can't afford him. However, incredibly, he only stays with 89 potential. As for Rubinho, he starts off an 86, and wait for it, becomes a 90. Yep, this was back when Rubinho was meant to be the next Pele, and Neymar was just some kid in Brazil that nobody cared about, or I guess even knew about. So there you go, Rubinho is actually better than Bale. That's fact. On to the strikers, Karim Benzema versus Ruud van Nistelrooy. Another one who might be deserving of a bit of a boost when it comes to his overall rating. Benzema is only an 86, which is nothing to scoff at, but I guess it's down to the fact that his in-game stats are just really balanced and not one of them is like completely insane. As for Van Nistelrooy, he was an absolute whopper on FIFA 08. He would start off as an 86, get up to a 90, oh and he has 96 reactions and 94 finishing. So I would jump onto anything that came into the box. And finally, Cristiano Ronaldo versus Raul. Two Real Madrid legends, but only one winner. And it's a pretty easy winner, in truth. Maybe if this was FIFA 04, this would be the other way around, but Ronaldo takes this one by a landslide. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that he's on the cover. Anyway, Ronaldo is a 94, and he's great. Raul, on the other hand, only starts off as an 80, who can get up to an 89, but that is still really, really underrated. So there we go, this is our complete lineup, which is pretty decent apart from Baptista and Rubinho, right? And that's our video. Got any more teams that we should be comparing from FIFA 08 to FIFA 18? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and share this video, and why not hit that subscribe button for more great gaming content. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.